What is up everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another farming simulator video and in today's video We are back on my single-player American Outback map and today we're gonna be doing uh, or we're gonna be buying Let me show you really quick We're gonna be buying the SP dot 400 F. It is a sprayer. It's got a 36 uh, like wingspan. It covers huge 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 amounts and the reason we're buying such a large one today would is because we're gonna combine field seven and eight sometime soon. I'm um, still working on getting all the money for it, but first I want to get a sprayer to increase our output. Um, and I think E, I mean not E. What's his name? Our worker's going right now, so let's go over here and check him out. I'll show you guys what we got going right now. Cause I'm gonna need to get over there anyways. Cause I need to get to Valley Green to drop off these uh, this barley. So if you see right here, I got all, I got all of the equipment right here just chilling. Probably should put some sheds up above everything so nothing like goes really bad. All right, so what you'll be able to see here is the wingspan will probably be able to cover our three ish like paths so hopefully by the time we sell this go pick that guy up and come back we'll have enough time to get ready and do some fertilizing before we have to uh like cultivate and get ready for the next one um i think actually i think we might have to cultivate first so we might have to uh, do a little time lapse coming up here but let's go sell this uh we're not gonna get really like anything for this because this is just barley so it's just kind of I'm not going to say it's crap, but uh, it's definitely no soybeans, which is what we're harvesting right now. Take this. Whoa. Take this slow right here. So it don't drift out like I just did. All right. Sell the first guy. I think we're going to probably, how much are we going to take in? 20,000? Not even. I hope we make at least 20,000. Soybeans have definitely been my, ca my cash crop quite a bit. Okay, yeah, we're, taking, we're taking in like 40,000, 30, 30,000. All right. All right, so we got about 28,000. We're going to leave these gravity wagons over here um, and the truck too, actually, because I'm just going to need this. Just going to hop these little railroad tracks. Ooh, there we go. So we're going to need this over here anyway, so probably need it... We'll need it right around here because he can't really do too many passes before it fills up. Yeah, because he's already at 60. Okay, yeah, so we're probably going to have to meet him. Hold on, I'm going to move the truck really quick. I'm trying to set it up in strategic positions. We're going to leave the truck about here. And there was an update to the ground response mod, if you guys know what that is. Um, it's like what makes, like tires get way more dirty like everything's all bumpy so like everything is crazy bumpy now like these guys just get tossed around taking it around on these it's a lot more realistic now i just kind of noticed that because i saw the update but yeah it's actually really really good now and i really really like it so if you guys don't have it yet make sure you download the ground response mod just download all those all the ground like all the ground response mods they're all really good all right we're gonna go in here we're gonna go to sprayers and new holland i like it that it's new holland that's good that's good all right, we're going to pick up this bad boy. Where is it at? All right, so we'll just we'll just do a quick walk around. So tires are pretty thin cuz you're supposed to take you're supposed to take this through your fields once they are already planted and grown and you're spraying fertilizer on them to make them grow more. So you got really thin tires so you don't crush that many. Um, so you can go right in between the rows. I'm just going to go right here to show you guys the uh, wingspan on this bad boy. Alright, so. And it has sprayers in the front too, so you don't miss the front. Okay, so this is three. This is three and a half, I'd say. This is about three and a half of our of our passes. Oh, look at that honk. That honk's pretty funny. So yeah, that's actually that's really huge like that's gigantic that's three or four passes total in this and the entire field is fertilized which is amazing absolutely amazing I don't think you can carry anything on back alright so we're gonna drive this guy back we're gonna hop in first person in this on the whole way back shut that off and we're gonna swing by the farm first before we go to um, before we go to the actual uh, go to our land because we want to stop by because we have those big, big, big bins, and you can just drive right up to those and refill fertilizer. So we're just going to fill this guy max all the way, and I'm just going to set it so that the workers automatically refill the fertilizer. Um, 
so we don't have to keep going back and forth because I'm sure this thing uses a lot of fertilizer. Alright, I would cut through there normally, but I don't want to do that. So we'll just go all the way around here. There's our mower. Just chilling there. Make sure no traffic, no cop, no stop. Oh, wow, the grain tank's already full. Alright. Yeah, well, we're, since we're right here next to it, I'll just swing over really quick. I'll tab over and hop in our truck. And I'm also, I think I'm going to buy a new Duramax. I think I'm going to buy a new Duramax here soon. There we go. Yeah, you guys see how the gravity wagons just jumble around? I really like it. It's really cool. All right, hop in first person. Sweet, and he's dumping to the left right now already. So it looks like we get one pass done. One in like a tenth. There you go. You can go when you're ready. All right. Hop him back in. All right. So let's take this guy over. I'll probably have to hop out of first person to actually get this through our gates. Because, oh man, yeah, our farm is just so, like, it's not tiny. But there's so much, like, clutter in here. It's just, it's so, it's so dumb. Like, all these fences. There we go. Alright, so now it's these storage bins right here. Alright, right here. Me, this bad boy. So, yeah, yeah, this is liquid fertilizer, too, if you guys did not know that. Oh my gosh, that was as much. This is costing us so much money. What's fertilizer sell for on the market right now? Not on the market, but what can you buy it for? Uh huh. Twenty four hundred for two thousand. That's about what we're buying for, I think, right now. At least I hope it is. I hope we're not getting completely ripped off. Seventy percent. Right, he's still gonna keep going. I really like this though. I really need to. I should wish I would have purchased this sooner in like all my other careers, because it's such like it makes everything so much easier. So much easier. All right, so we can hold six thousand. Which is not too much. That's two pallets, basically. Eight grand for that? Holy crap. Alright, we're gonna take this bad boy back over here, and then I'm probably just going to uh, let everything run and go through so we can start using this. Because I want to use this so badly, but we're gonna have to wait for. Uh, drop him right here. We don't need to. We do not need to plow, but we do need to. Use this guy. This is this already has fertilizer on it. This already plants fertilizer with it, but um, I'll let it run like four or five hours, like after I plant, and then we'll be able to plant again. So we'll get a double yield for this, hopefully. Here, to back this bad boy up. Drop him about here. All right, now we're gonna go over and we're gonna pick up our cultivator. And uh, I think we have to wait for another pass before we can do anything. So we'll just go grab the cultivator. Maybe, maybe we'll, we'll clean off the big mud here. Actually, this thing's really dirty. It's got like, it's got mud like caked all over the sides and stuck to it. I do like to try and keep the equipment looking somewhat fresh and clean. a three point or is this a point this is a point oh what the heck no no oh man this gets me every time okay what are we okay I know how we're gonna solve this I think that's such a pain in the butt that the big butt is just a single point I know there's the attachment we have it over here connected up to the cult or not the cultivator the plow but it's such a pain in the butt to have to like always do that because I don't remember all my equipment and what it has on it. Ah, it kills me. Oh, it just wastes my time. Alright, so it looks like we're not going to be using the big bud for this. We're just going to use our Case IH Puma. And yes, yes, I know, I know. The front of this does not match the, uh, the header and whatnot, but just let it be for now. Just ignore it. I think the John Deere has the red one, and this one has the green one. Alright, there we go. Now we can get him. A 
little bit off center. There we go. Alright. Holy crap. I just ran straight into that. I wish I, I should I should just shut traffic off. Especially around here. It's just a pain in the butt. Oh. Going through some grass and trees and everything else, cactuses. Alright, so we'll line him up right here. We're gonna have to definitely wait for this cultivator to come through. 61%. Alright, we'll whip it around. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Oh, okay. Question. Do you guys think I should get the Chevy Duramax or should I get the new High Country? So, the High Country is just a lot bigger than the regular Duramax, but it's basically the same thing. Except for, I think it's a 2500 on the High Country. So, let me know, guys, because those are the two ones I'm thinking about getting next. I don't have the High Country on this right now, so I can't show you guys. But that, I, I absolutely love that truck. I think it would fit this map perfect. And there we go. Got to keep pace up with this guy. There we go. We're doing it. Get some towards the back so we don't pull up. There we go. And he's going to be finishing this row. Finish. Oh, look at that, and he's empty. That's nice. So, two rows does 22,000. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're not going to be able to make that turn. Gravity wagon's always getting in the way. Alright. Set these right here. Now, let's see if our cultivator has enough space here. I feel like it's, I feel like it has just enough space. Alright. Okay, yeah, I can definitely do it now. Alright, let's back it up a little bit though. Turn him over. Alright, so this will be the spot where we're going to start, but I'm going to wait and let this guy run through this whole field really quick. I don't even know how long this will take him. It'll probably take him like another hour-ish to get this area done. Oh yeah, and look at this. So like the area where I accidentally plowed, <laughs> my workers actually planted on it. So I mean, we'll get some yield out of it, so it's not a complete waste, minus this little spot here. But I did see you guys said you can use a roller to put it back to its original state, so I will be doing that sometime soon. Um, just don't want to spend the extra money right now on the roller, but I'll see you guys back here with this whole field done and It'll be starting to get cultivated. So I'll be back. So everybody I've got this whole thing Harvested I made about I'd say 150,000 from one harvest from this with only one thing of fertilizer on it And right now I got this whole side right here harvest or planted obviously um Cultivator's still working. He's got this row done. He's working on this next row right here. He's still got to do about one and a half rows right there. But, as you can see, so the ground right here, it's dry. It's not fertilized anymore. It's in its first growing stage. So, what we're going to do is we are going to hit him up with some fertilizer. So, I've been killing. I've been, I've, just been, I've been egging to use this guy. So, I'm excited to see what its wingspan really is. So, this is about two huge oh wow that's like exactly it oh hey I can move it over just a tad bit oh I just poked I just poked it okay there we go all right so now we are we're pretty much exactly so this is exactly two two wingspans of our big John Deere thing attracted a big bud right there a little bud right there a little bud um, so let's just turn it on let's get spraying all right Make sure we can actually see the ground changing colors and spraying. It is. It looks like this bad boy is working. Here, we're going to hire a worker. <gasps> we can't hire a worker for this. No. All right, that's okay. That's okay. Because this thing is huge anyways, and it's not going to take us many laps. It'll take us, what, 
two passes, three passes to fill up this entire field. We are traveling pretty slow though. And the only issue I have right now is the ground response mod is making me wobble everywhere. Unless maybe this is still fertilized and maybe the workers just like, oh no, it's already fertilized so maybe I shouldn't be planting more fertilizer on it. I don't know. Let me know if you guys know. If that, if that, is that the issue? No, there's no way. Oh, it could be it though. It does look like though. Here, I'm gonna stop. Yeah, it's definitely putting fertilizer down. Let's just keep going with it. We're just gonna keep going. We're gonna finish. Probably try and finish off this whole row. Probably not finish. But we'll we'll keep going. We'll keep going. But anyway, so I was expecting to have some issues with like fertilizer, uh, liquid fertilizer running out and whatnot. But obviously here, not too far. I mean, we're not too far away. Don't get me wrong. But um, for the size of these arms and the sprayer length. Only being at 95%, only using 5% so far is not too bad. Like I am, that's not shabby at all. And this, this is definitely a machine you can use on any, pretty sure any crop and any field, because it'll get, even in small fields, it'll do it in like two passes. Done. You'll be able to fertilize an entire field in less than like, less than two minutes. This, this thing is very slow though. That that does suck about it. It's very 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 slow back to the right a little bit. Looks like we're getting a little off here. I do like the animation though on the sprayer. Look at that. I love it. I do. I love this machine. This machine's, this machine's really good. I wish I would have used it sooner. Whoa, what am I doing? Oh, I started folding it up. Oops. I had tried to hit C, but I accidentally hit, uh, hit X instead. I don't really know if you could use this in first person. I mean, you could, but it's a little disorienting, and you got to keep bouncing back and forth to check and make sure you're hitting your your sides and corners. I don't know, but anyways, guys, thank you all who have stayed this far into the video. I really appreciate it. I really like the series so far. I love how I love how I'm just like slowly evolving and getting bigger equipment. I think by the end of this, I'm just gonna own every single piece of just large like big bud equipment. Um, all the regular game, huge equipment like this sprayer itself. Um, but thank you guys. If you guys aren't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Almost at 30k. We're so close to 30,000 subscribers. That is absolutely insane. And sorry I haven't been posting lately, everybody. I did just get sick, so I'm, I'm still trying to recuperate from that. But I'm getting back into it. So thank you, you guys. And I'll see you all in the next video.